What's up and welcome back everybody, it's your boy Blue Inferno and today I set out on a quest to build a kit that was as close to one of my kits that I built while using the marketplace to its full advantage. The footage I used was captured while live streaming the challenge and I made this video to serve as a guide for our free to play brothers and sisters so you guys can be entertained and give you a little bit of hope in the darkness as well as to share the experience I had while doing it. If you find this type of content interesting or helpful, please leave a comment below and like and subscribe. For a small content creator like me, it really makes a difference. Thank you, now on to the video. The goal was to build a kit just like this one here. I bought this one for approximately 7,000 gold on the marketplace, using entirely money I made from being able to sell on the marketplace. Given that I only had four hours to stream, I also wanted to achieve that goal during the term of the stream. I was fortunate enough to have some supplies already in stock though. The rules for this challenge are extremely simple. No access to high roller, no access to selling on the market, and only looted items can be used. Being that all of the money that I have is made because of my previous access to the selling feature on the market, I decided I should just completely eliminate my access to the marketplace, buying and selling. So a couple of the pieces I got here, a different player could substitute with purchasing from the marketplace. I quickly realized that because the merchants buy goods for such a low price, that making the kit would have to come down to predominantly crafting it. I couldn't rely on the random rolls from the different vendors. Lucky for me, I already had four looted wolf pelts in my inventory that I quickly used to make my grave wolf gloves. I also had a looted spider silk, so I made the cloak of darkness as well. I had my eyes set on making a ruby silver hood, so I made my way into the ruins on a 24 square lobby to mine some ruby silver in Inferno. The first match went extremely smoothly. I pretty much got in, got out, got down to Inferno. Everything went just fine and I never saw a player. So I'm not going to bore you guys with all the nitty gritty details. Suffice it to say, I got down to Inferno, looted it, and left. While I was in the lobby, I decided to check out the new skeleton merchant to see if he had any of the pieces I needed. He happened to have a magic staff and a longsword already in stock. Unfortunately, I was five seconds too late, as the market refreshed at the exact moment I bought the staff. But immediately after that, it got filled in with some epic lightfoot boots. And now, just from random odds and ends I had laying around, I had already made two pieces and purchased two pieces from the merchants. For the next match, I decided to go to the goblin cave to try and hunt down the cyclops. The hardest ingredient that I needed to get was the cyclops regs, and I wanted to get that out of the way as soon as possible. Little did I know that my plans for going after the cyclops were pretty much about to get kibosh because I ended up finding a carrot on a stick. This fight gets a little bit crazy, and I'm really happy with how it ended. Hope you guys enjoy. Worth more to say. That's true. Ooh. That is definitely true. Cleric. Aw, oh, man, this is going to be a tough fight. But we got to fight him. He's there, like he showed up. If he's here, and I'm I'm here, then that means we're fighting. What's he doing? He's just going. My buff. I'm not going to put that on yet. Ah, you fucked up, man. <laughs> What's he doing? Oh, man, I said... <laughs> what was his plan? <laughs> Sir, GG. Oh, I'll take that, why not? Ooh, blue. Ooh, what do we got? Oh, it's a warlock. Hmm. Now he's gonna be fast. What are you doing here? Oh, that would have been awesome. Oh man. The other guy, I don't want to fight him. Yeah, he's going to get lit up by that third party. Yeah, that fighter wants some. Oh man, that fight is in good gear. All right, well. That went as well. Let's 
Let's go. You know what? I don't think I'll catch him. I killed one of them. Oh. Well. That was kind of overkill. I'm like full buff, ready to come in here and do some damage, and uh, they're all dead. That was a... Take note, that was a fully charged Bolt of Darkness with stacks. So that Bolt of Darkness, if it hit his head, would have done like 60 damage. Which is pretty good. Yeah, if you consider what I'm wearing. Oh my goodness. Don't mind if I do. Oh, look at that. That's a great upgrade. What's he doing coming in here with Ruby Silver? I'd obviously need to take those. That was so lucky. <laughs> and now, still high off of that last great score, wanted to make sure that Wolf Pelts had the same drop rate as I remember them being. So I set up to go into Ice Caverns to confirm if what I was doing was legit. This cleric has nothing for me, but holy crap. You know, just taken from people I've killed. that's fair. That's fair. That's kind of the same thing as keeping your enemies' heads on your shoulders. You know. Oh shit! I forgot to take off the pickaxe. This raid started off really nice and chill. I was able to push through a couple of modules and find a wolf pelt right away. I seem to remember finding wolf pelts way more often than in previous seasons, so I was very glad to have my theory proven correct. All was going perfectly, until I ran into two very different flavors of warlocks. Surprise! Alright, alright. I see you. Really? You're still alive. How has he failed to kill you for so long? Oh, that was a good hit. No way you didn't die! Okay, there we go. There we go. And that's why you carry the drum. So difficult. Just down there. Oh my. No way! Good job. Good on ya. Fuck, that's annoying. Waited out my buffs just with that. Demon. Chris Demon. Gotta keep going. No way he still has help! He must have been a demon for like 20 seconds! And that was really the moment that I learned that you want to wait for a warlock in demon form to be in demon form for at least 30 seconds or more if you're going to try to face tank them. They're just so damn tough with that Chris and all that extra health that they end up getting. Either way, what do you do when you die in raid? You pull up your bootstraps and jump into another one. And this time we got back on track and went into Goblin Cave to continue hunting Cyclops. 
and unfortunately even with my bootstraps tightly secured, I ended up getting derailed by a bard and a ranger. I kind of allowed them to kite me a little bit and it came to an abrupt end at least. At this point I decided that I really needed to just focus on going straight to Cyclops. Like I couldn't be messing around getting kited by bards and rangers and people who just wanted to waste my time. I'd worry about killing them after I had the Cyclops rags in my hands. Well, that would be if anybody in the dungeon would let me get there. Oh shit. A rogue. I'm afraid of rogues. If he turns on me, I'm in trouble. Oh, what are you doing? It's annoying. I All right. Really, he didn't die from that. Impressed. Well thought, sir. I'm glad he turned around and fought. That was... You were honorable, sir. With the rogue now dealt with, I moved on to secure escape portals so that when I finished the Cyclops, I could immediately run out of the raid safely. Oh, it's a barb. So for anybody out there who's trying to run stain, if I'm fighting a barb, I'm fighting somebody who is excellent. Oh, that's not a barb. They're dead now. Well, if I wanted meds, I got them. Now it's free to open up some portals and head straight to the Cyclops. Where am, where am I going? And in classic Gobble Caves fashion, I had a spectator that wasn't so friendly. Hello, good sir. I don't have VOC now. But let's wager if I can kill a rogue. You suck. Ah! <laughs> Damn it! After getting intercepted and interrupted so many times in my attempts, I went on a raid to the crypts in search of the other half of my ruby silver. This turned out to be a disappointment and a huge success, as early in the run I discovered multiple people that were teaming in the dungeon. If I ever see that, I try to get as far away from them as I can, and just leave them behind. In this case, I went all the way down to Inferno, and got the last of the ruby silver I needed. That's pretty damn far behind. Although I was feeling triumphant for retrieving the last of the ruby silver that I needed before the end of the stream, the feeling was quickly brushed aside when I was reminded that I needed a rare ranger's hood to be able to craft it. Now with only enough time for a handful of raids at my disposal, that meant that I needed to find a rare ranger's hood in one of my upcoming raids, or just pray that the tailor just happened to get one in stock between my runs. On the plus side, as I was desperately searching for an uncommon longsword to try to make a divine blade for the kit, it actually turned out that I just had one in my inventory that was looted already. So I crafted up a divine blade and added it to the kit. With the crunch on, I finally noticed the full extent of my error by playing around with the wolves in the frost caverns and chasing bards and rangers around. I was quickly running out of time and had to make each run count. Luckily, the next one went off without a hitch. I ended up being able to get down to Cyclops, kill him, and get out. Unfortunately, though, he didn't have Cyclops rags on him, so I had to run it back and go straight back into the dungeon. Oh, you scared that shit out of me, boy. Oh, that is so cool. Like... Right after I killed the first skeleton in the module that I spawned in, 
that mosquito rogue ended up buzzing around and shooting crossbow bolts at me. So I got into the next raid and just tried to make the best of it. What I'm fighting dictates my buffs. A oh, whizzy. Woo! To the moon! Get out of here, bro. Hmm. What are you? A barb. Oof. Can I fight a barb? I can fight a barb. I got a full buff, man. Yeah, he's still there. Right, I want this. I want this. Let's go. I think I want this. I don't know. Ah, oh, you suck. Ping. Oh, shit. Somebody's behind me, too. Is that another barb? That looks like another barb. Alright. This just got interesting. Read me. Okay. You know what he wants to do. No way. No way. No way. Where did he get those attacks from? No way. How did he get it through my sword? And we'll never learn if you don't see what they did. And the problem is with the latency, it gets, it's a really hokey. Yeah. So first, it's like he hit me with his elbow. And he wasn't even looking at me and he hit me off screen. And then he hit me again with his elbow. And he still three shot me, hitting me with the sour spot of the axe. No way. So we run it back again. Let's go right to the death. Not get greedy. Remember to get my. There it is, guys. There it is. Out of meds, but. <clears throat> That's disappointing. Power of sacrifice. Well, it's on. Nice one. Interesting choice. No, you definitely can't. He sees me glowing. I think that throws him through a loop. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, I'm gonna boop you. Oh, I almost booped him. Who here in chat thought that I was going to win that one versus thought that I was going to get stomped by the Crystal Sword? Be honest here. Although in that match, I not only got to take down Cyclops, but didn't find the regs, it ended in one of the funniest fights I've had in a very long time. That wizard gave it his all, and I respect anybody who gets out there and will swing with the Crystal Sword. Well played, buddy. But it still didn't relieve any of the pressure that I was under. I only had time for two more matches. I still never had a chance to find or buy a ranger's hood, and on top of that, there's no Cyclops regs in sight. So I was getting pretty nervous at this point, so I suited up for another run and I couldn't handle any more interruptions. No! He moved! Ah, oh, that's too bad. Oh, he's reloading.
Yes. Hit him again. Oh, that fucking goblin, man. Ugh. That goblin fucked me right up. What am I jumping off of here? He's gonna have higher hit points than me right now. I really couldn't catch him. I swear if that's goblins behind me right now. Come here. This is so annoying. I run with the bow. I run with the bow. I run with the bow. Finally, come here. Man, you should have kept running with your bow. You're an idiot. I think it's that I'm just too bloodthirsty. You know, I think it's a me problem. I always want to go for that extra hits. Just time that jump properly. Yeah, you see, I have to turn sharper. Good night, Mr. Cyclops. I'm very... Totally worth it. Greed is the way. Still, even with all these attempts, I came out of the dungeon empty-handed. No ranger hood. No cyclops regs. Although things were looking bleak, just remembering cutting down a kiting build player was enough to raise my spirits back up again. So with my fingers crossed and fond memories on my mind, I went out to check out the tailor. I couldn't believe it. He had one. He actually had the rare ranger hood I needed to craft the ruby silver hood. I crafted the item as fast as I could and safely placed it with the rest of the kit. There was only one missing piece. It had been eluding my grasp all night and only one more raid to try and get it. Take the right shots, don't get greedy. Alright, let's go. Right in the face. He was either thinking about his divorce or about to stomp. Uh, it's true though, he looks like he just like stops and he's like pondering his life choices. myself I don't like no misclick oh. Oh. you fat finger a key once it can throw you right off it's like a rhythm yeah the last one still goes even if he falls I don't, I don't need it. I got Shadow Touch to pull me through. Yeah, it was my angle of retreat. Should be using this. I sweat. I 
hate that. <laughs> I could have gone for the face on that. The long sword is. Yeah, you see? She just stops. She's like, Bitch, took the car. No! Yes. Ah, uh, yeah, I messed up. Oh, I hate that it doesn't have a sound cue. Uh, that it uh, doesn't have a visual cue. Do we get him? Does he got the juice? Yes! 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 Okay, we gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here right now. See you later, nerds. Yes! It was done. I had finally gotten the Cyclops eggs I had been searching for all night. And with them, I crafted my Brave Hunter's pants and took a look at what I had created. For direct comparison of bot Kit versus maid kit. So 131 health. I, this is kind of how I compare it bit by bit. So I just try to remember a couple stats at a time of the important ones. So let's remember 131 health, 310, and 7.5. Nine more hit points, eight more move speed, and 0.8% more action speed. That's That's pretty tight. That is really tight in comparison. This one is still slightly, marginally better, but this took me way less time to get. Going the other direction, physical damage reduction sitting at 26.2%. Physical power bonus, 8.5. So 26, 8.5, 27. So this one has higher magical power bonus. But it's very close to physical power, and it's only 2% off physical damage reduction. Really? If I held out for a good sword, this is impressively close. Something else to keep in mind is this kid is going to be down on magic healing. I could have 100% made that kit in 9 hours of gameplay. <laughs>